I have, I have Vignesh with me who has been instrumental in doing bank integrations and we have collaborated to kind of build the entire solution together. And that is, uh, that is Vignesh. Uh, just a quick of what we will be uh, demonstrating today is the bank integrations with a few banks which are available on ERP Next as of date. Uh, before we dive into the demo, just to understand what should we expect is, there are two parts of what we are, what we are planning to solve. One is payouts, the other is, the other is reconciliations. Uh, uh, payouts essentially would be either the purchase order advances of what have been issued, what you would want to issue in ERP next. The purchase invoices, the supplier payments, any ad hoc payments of what you would want to do beyond these two documents or the payroll payments of what you would like to, like to process on ERP next. Uh, the reconciliation again be becomes important where there is a volume of transactions, you just want to match the DRs and CRs and kind of knock, knock them off. Uh, without the bank integration being there, what is the challenge of what, what, we, what we face on a, on a basis? One, the bank reconciliation is very infrequent. It is done on an ad hoc basis. Uh, so at any point in time, you do not have real time data of your bank account balance matching with your ERP next balance. There are cases where a duplicate payments would be issued because that wasn't tracked or that, or that was done, uh, done off against and not that or that was done on account and not against an, an invoice. Uh, the information of what you get from the bank in terms of reference numbers, UTR numbers that is not stored or partly stored. So the information is also inconsistent and it is manual. So it is prone to errors. In case of an error, it is that more difficult to track where it is. And in short, it is too much manual effort of what we plan to automate. So the solution is actually a simple one. We will be doing automated payouts. Through those payouts, the references is what we get in responses. We will be able to do instant reconciliations and on a success response or a failure response, whatever the, the status is, we'll synchronize the status of the payment entries. The business value is actually immense. One, there are reduced manual entries. Uh, we are looking at real time finance data. We are streamlining the entire payment process, so no need of OTPs, no need to log in into your retail or the corporate accounts. And you can have multiple banks integrated within the same application, within the same ERP Next site, and hence it is a multi-channel uh, integration. As of, as of date, uh, these are the five banks of what we have ready available inside of ERP Next to be used. Uh, uh, Axis, uh, uh, ICICI Axis were and Standard Chartered were there. Uh, yes Bank and HDFC have recently been added uh, in, the, in the entire list. To, to help understand how this entire payment process happens and the demonstration, I would like Vignesh to take over. Yeah, hi. Over to you. So, so all of us would have come across this situation, so where we had the payments recorded in ERP Next, but it wouldn't be available in the bank statement, or sometimes we'd have made payments ad hoc in the bank, uh, but it is not recorded in the ERP Next. So we end up searching for that in the statement or in the ERP Next, and then start doing the reconciliation. So there is a tool, bank reconciliation tool, in which we need a discipline to upload the bank statement and then do a proper reconciliation. So all of that uh, with this uh, flow we are just trying to eliminate those so if you can just so with this integration for all the for all the vendor payments uh, be it advances over the purchase orders or be it outstanding payment over the purchase invoices we just create a payment request and the purchase team can keep creating the payment request as and when they are just discussing and the accounts team can come in and aggregate all the payment requests together and then uh, process the whole parent. So during that parent, the payment entries will be automatically created and basis, if it is successful or unsuccessful in the bank side, they'll be either cancelled or updated with the UTR numbers. So you'll have the payment entry on the right day when the payment has done and all along UTR number that is updated. So these are ad hoc payments where you do not have a purchase order or purchase invoice. You just want to make a payment and for that uh, this the same process is followed but you start with a payment request. Payment request, multiple such payment requests, all of them aggregated into payment order and when the payment is happening the payment entry is automatically getting generated and then the bank reconciliation automatically happening. So we'll have a quick demo of this. So for the purchase invoices, 
they'll have to create a payment request and this payment request can either be partial or uh, complete amount, the com complete outstanding amount. The mode of transfer has been wire transfer, the transaction date. They can even select a future date so that the payment parent can happen on that day. So we are just creating a couple of payment requests quickly. Well, the payment requests are created. Now we go to payment order and we just select which bank from to which we'll have to process this. Here is where we can select any of those banks. I just select as many payment requests as I want. I create a summary out of it. The mode of payments basis, if it is the same bank or a different bank or on a different uh, amount uh, range that is auto choose. Since it's a HDFC bank and it's a HDFC chosen there, it's a A to A payment. On submission of the payment order, the payment entry gets created. This will make your invoices already paid, but still the payment haven't gone from the bank. And once you initiate the payment, so there are multiple ways uh, different banks operate. Uh, some banks have a post authorization mechanism in which even after initiating the payment here, there will be a checker who will go approve it in the bank portal. There are uh, S Bank and ICICI Bank where you can completely skip that step. So for the just sake of the demo, we are just uh, approving one payment. and also reject one. So this rejection, uh, like there can be insufficient funds or the request can expire. So many such cases can happen in which the payment will be rejected at the bank's end or uh, like incorrect IFSE, incorrect account, account number or any such case. And there is an automatic scheduler that will just keep updating the status of the payments and here we just manually update so that we can just show you right away. So one is rejected and one is processed. So for the rejected one, the payment entry should have got cancelled and for the a processed one, the UTR number should have got updated. And so there is no need of bank reconciliation for the payments. So we are also extending this for the case of uh, payroll processing and that will be also live soon. Perfect. So this is all that we wanted to wanted to present on the bank integration. Uh, again, just adding to it, this is a complete open source uh, project for us. Uh, 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 so you want to take it up? Yeah. So the the first two apps is what we started uh, like a couple of years ago, in which only ICICI Bank was there. The second URL is a Python library uh, for which we thought we'll bring multiple banks there. Now we are just retiring the first two, and the third one will be there. Uh, it's a bank connector ERP Next app in which multi any banks can be connected. So, so it's all open source available in Aerial GitHub account.